All right, welcome back. It's our concluding moment. Uh, just that person, uh, which we're going to talk about, that uh, it's quite important in the scheme of things. His name? David Mack. Oh. So the question is, what has David Mack got that none of the other six senators, Senate presidents, have? Eight years. <laughs> Eight years, but it, it doesn't have two heads. <laughs> but there's one thing that stands him out, and that is... He's got military experience. Mm. And so you find experience. out that the only thing David Mack has on this guy is all other Senate presidents is, is military synonymous experience. Synonymous with strategy, huh? Synonymous with strategy. Synonymous with fear. Mm. Synonymous with under, letting whoever is president understand that things might not be what they always seem to be. And so with military experience, it has an advantage. It has intelligence that the other career politicians didn't have. And so a lot of concerns are, will the current Senate president be having these challenges if he had been a former brigadier general or had been in the army before? But more important is to look at something that stands out very important in Chamberlain. Yeah. No Senate president has been impeached or has resigned six months to the end of his term. All of this list notwithstanding. At least All of one this up to six. At least six months to the end of your term, you will run it through. So the question is, will Bukola Saraki be able to see through or And time will tell on that particular one. Well, time will but, tell. Yeah, I was going to say, speaking about some of these things, um, you know, over time, with the analysis we've seen, those who led us at that time from the head of state, even up until uh, Senator Wyers, who was the Senate president at the time, one thing we notice is their age. He was 38 years old. 38. October 9, 1979, when that Senate election took place. Senator Wyers was 38 years old. Again, the opportunities were for the young. And so we should look at some things that Nigerians are really bothered about. When Senator MRM was impeached in 1999. What was the unemployment rate? 8.2 percent. Did his impeachment lower the unemployment rate, or did it make things better? No, it didn't. By the time Senator Okadibo was being impeached as Senate President, unemployment was already 13.1 percent. And so, even though we are seeing a lot of impeachments, it is not affecting the lives. Of Nigerians. A recent report by the Democratic Perception Index, which ran a survey in Nigeria, asked Nigerians, do you think your voice is being listened to when it comes to national politics? Approximately half of Nigerians said no. And so what we have today in reality is the PDP is telling the APC that if you stop telling lies, against me. I will stop telling the truth about you. That is the situation we have today. We are at the crossroads, Chamberlain, because in the final analysis, we are left with two choices. Either we choose between one road that leads to hopelessness and despair, or we choose the road that leads to complete extinction. I hope we have the wisdom to choose the right road, Woody Allen. So they should go ahead and make that choice. The power lies with them, the people. Jido Gmuso, our data analyst, thank you for coming on today. So there you go. That is the show today. And what a week it's been as well. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back again next week. I'm Chamberlain Uso. I'm Gimba Umar. I'm Neota Ebe. Have a great weekend, everybody. I am Ajuri Ngalale. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions and endorsement of Channels Television.